As you can see, I've been spending a lot of time at Target recently. You also know that SPF is your BFF, and today we're going to share buy this, not that. Which sunscreen products that are available on Target shelves are actually worth the money? They're all drugstore, so they're pretty affordable. These are all cruelty-free, but we have a few different options. Because sunscreen is something that you should be using every day, and you know that we are ideally supposed to reapply it multiple times a day. If you're not doing that, still just give yourself a pat on the back for at least applying it. That's more than most people can say. But I've been seeing pricing discrepancies pop up on TikTok. For instance, if someone is supposed to be using and reapplying sunscreen so liberally, how are people, you know, recommending these little tiny sunscreen tubes that are like $98? That's not sustainable, right? So let's talk about some different target options to keep the cost in mind and still find something that's right for your face. The Australian Gold Non-Greasy Mineral Lotion that is SPF 50. This is a face product that I fell in love with and it is one of my trieds and trues. If you're looking for a tinted sunscreen, it should protect your skin but also feel good. I really like tinted sunscreens because it's kind of like wearing a beauty bomb or almost as a replacement for makeup. This one is the SPF 50 and it has a main ingredient of shea butter. This is absolutely magical on the skin. It goes on so pillowy and it really melts into the skin. Now, I do have oily skin and I absolutely love this one. If your skin is good with shea butter, this will be a favorite, but if for some reason you don't like shea butter, then this might not be right for you. This is antioxidant rich because they include red algae. I know some people are afraid of that if they have acne, but I would say don't be. I've looked at medical studies in the past that show that algae could actually be beneficial to those who have acne prone skin. If you want a little bit of color coverage or if you're looking to wear sunscreen instead of a moisturizer or makeup, one of my absolute favorites. The other ingredients in here are a little bit dimethicone, so it feels super silky on the face. This is something that literally Target could charge twice the price for and I would still buy it. This is one of my favorites and it has been for multiple years for multiple reasons. <laughs> Let's talk about the sunscreen that you should not buy, the Think Sunscreen SPF 50. Hear me out, Think Sunscreen makes one of my favorite facial sunscreens, the SPF 30 Day, but oh my god, the SPF 50, please use this over that one. That one literally makes me look like Mark Zuckerberg on his freaking, I don't know, what, the, what, what is that, a paddleboard, surfboard, kayak? on feet, boat, snow skis for water. Exactly. It makes my face so pasty, it doesn't rub in, and it's a good big old tube for the price that you're getting it at, but if you're not using this on the body, if you're not taking this to a beach day where you don't care what you look like, there is no blending this in. It is one of the absolute worst, and I get that it is an SPF 50. That is wonderful for protecting yourself, uh, but unless you are Casper the Friendly Ghost, this one is just not going to be it. Sunscreen is essential to protecting yourself and the beautiful skin that you're in. You are gorgeous. You are stunning, okay? You are beautiful. Protect your face from the damaging UVA and UVB rays, but we can't forget the like button. It is exposed to a lot of UVA and UVB rays. Can you please apply a nice sun filter to the skin of the like button to protect it from the damaging rays of the sun? Oh, that is much better. See, now we're protected. Now we can go out and play as in play, press play, as in Cassandra, get back to the damn video. <laughs> Next, let's look at an SPF 30. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen, and I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite sunscreens to date. This is a fantastic formula that is now available in both Target and Ulta, and it is affordable. It's under 20 bucks. You get three fluid ounces, so you're getting a really decent size, and let me tell you, this is probably the most natural, skin-like looking sunscreen that there is. This was made for black women who have historically been left out of the skin cancer and sunscreen conversations. So many sunscreens end up looking pasty or gray and not working on melanated skin, and we know that all skin can get cancer. We know that all skin types need SPF protection every single day. Yes, I and my skin color can use this. This is a fantastic sunscreen that blends in flawlessly. It literally feels like a second skin. But the fact that this is made by a black woman for other black women of color is extraordinarily important because of representation. It's important for people who have been left out of that conversation to know, hey, this is for me, this will work for me, this was made for me in mind. It does have organic slash chemical 
chemical filters in it that make it an SPF 30. I do have to be a little bit careful over my blemishes. If I am having a bad breakout, I don't want them to sting an open lesion, which something like octocrylene or avobenzone has been known to do to me. But all of the other ingredients in here are amazing. We have jojoba oil, which is one of my favorites. We have carrot seed oil, we have sunflower oil, and this goes on to skin so buttery smooth. It absorbs almost flawlessly and it does leave a little bit of a dewy look. I would say that if you're open to a little bit of a glow, like a healthy, fresh face, this is perfect. If you are someone who has extraordinarily oily skin or if you are someone who likes a mattified look, then this might not be the best choice for you. But if you are someone who is struggling to find a sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast, that is a beautiful SPF 30 and that has jojoba oil that just works with skin so well, this is absolutely it. It's ultra sheer, there is no white residue, and yes, it is water resistant for up to 80 minutes. Um, slam dunk, like amazing. Now please just make it in an SPF 50. <laughs> What I would not recommend is the SPF 30 from Derma E. This is the all sport protection and this was just not it. I loved the concept. There are other sunscreens from Derma E that I was a huge fan of, uh, but this one almost left behind like a purple tint. I know a lot of people like this one. It is fragrance free and non-greasy. So if you are someone who has super sensitive skin to fragrance, this is going to be a great option for you. It's also slightly moisturizing. But for my skin, I just found that it left behind this purple cast. There are certain filters and sunscreen that can do that. I'm sure you've also seen them a lot in the lip products for sunscreen. Yes, your lips are technically skin and you should be wearing lip sunscreen too, but face sunscreen is what we're talking about. And yeah, this one just leaves that purple grayish cast for me and it is not worth it. For this one being 80 minutes water resistant, fragrance free SPF 30, I would really just point to this one, 80 minutes water resistant SPF 30 and technically there is no fragrance included. So technically you can call this fragrance free. Buy this, not that. <laughs> Next up, we're talking zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is a wonderful filter that protects skin, but it can be really hard to formulate with. You see, sunscreens in general are really hard to formulate because you are taking these little powders and trying to get them into a liquid form. You want them to blend into skin, but you also wanna make sure that they're protecting you against sunlight. It can be really tough. And some formulas, like the one that we're gonna talk about in just a minute, can actually be really grainy. This one, however, is not, oh my God. This is one from Yes2. Yes2 is a line that I was obsessed with when I was younger and I kind of took a break from them, they finally have a fragrance-free version. This is ultra safe for the most sensitive of skin types, completely fragrance-free. It has avocado in here and this smooths onto skin so well. This is only an SPF 15 and I do wish that the SPF here was higher, but for zinc oxide at 14%, this is a great blend. This is one of the least expensive sunscreens on the list and if you're really on a budget, you can use this and reapply. It goes on so silky smooth. It literally makes your face feel like avocado butter. You know how like butter when it melts onto a piece of bread feels? This is like if it's avocado butter, not mashed avocado, like avocado toast, but like avocado butter. It is moisturizing without being overly greasy. It really blends in well. And for having 14% zinc oxide, it is amazing without feeling grainy on the skin, which is why we next need to talk about Versed. This is the Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen from Versed. It is an SPF 35, which is arguably much better, but this formula's got some problems. It's got 15% zinc oxide, so very comparable to the 14, but holy guacamole, this is grainy. It is super grainy, it really balls up and pills up on skin, and it almost feels scratchy and it doesn't rub in. You know, there are certain formulas or even moisturizers that pill up on the skin. We can talk in a future video about why that happens. It could be applying too much product. It could be that there's like dimethicone and polymers in there that stick together. For Versed though, I don't think that's what's happening. I actually have no idea what's happening in here. And I feel like a lot of other people have been experiencing this as well. It's really grainy on the skin. It almost feels like an exfoliant and then it leaves these little chunks on the skin that you can actually see. I had to get rid of mine. Yeah. I'm just gonna skip this one. <laughs> I would recommend some of these over that one. And a lot of people ask about reapplying sunscreen over makeup. Makeup is often a powder. And then if you're applying a liquid over that, isn't it gonna get nasty? Isn't it gonna get pilly? Unfortunately, yes, depending on the sunscreen you're using and how that's happening. That is why I've been grabbing things that are a little bit more tinted, but I would also recommend actual sunscreen powders. This is a makeup powder that has sunscreen in it. This one is available at Target. It's an SPF 30 from San Sandra Lee, MD, you know that I am obsessed with Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh girl, you could pop my pimples any day. It is the pokes and the pops and the excisions that I live for. <laughs> 
trend that I love to assist with. But pimple popping aside, this sunscreen is really bomb diggity. There's also Color Science and Super Goop are pretty good, but this one's available at Target and therefore more accessible to people. And this is the UV Bounce. It is an SPF 30, but I would caution that you can't use this as your primary source of sunscreen. Make sure that you are using a sunscreen that has a good base and use this to reapply throughout the day. You can literally push this out and kind of dust this on over your skin and all of the product is dispensed through here and wiped onto the face. I probably need to do this and look at my skin under like a UV light, um, but let me tell you, this, although it is great, I don't really think you're getting a full SPF 30. If you are not really patting this out and making sure that you're applying liberally, it's not going to be full coverage. Better than nothing, it is better to reapply. This is not singular to the Sandra Lee MD line, but this is all powder sunscreens. Um, one of the dermatologists that I love, Dr. Pravisha, Patel of Vicious Skincare. She's in Memphis, Tennessee. She actually takes a lot of these out and dumps them in a little container and then uses one of those kind of like makeup sponges to pat them on. Almost like a second layer of powder makeup to get a full application. But again, I know that it's a struggle to get people to even wear sunscreen in the first place. So if you've got one base on, you're good. If you can reapply, even better. Um, there are all these nuances to it, but know that if you're even watching this video, you're off to a great start. Are there other sunscreens at Target that we should definitely try or not. Leave them in the comments below. Make sure that that like button is protected from the damaging UVA and UVB rays. And I will see you and your beautiful face in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.